This is one of those things that we talked about amongst ourselves, but we haven't talked to them about. And it's because we were contemplating to see if this would even work, if it actually would increase my hearse purse freed up. Right, hold on, ready? Ooh. I haven't even seen this myself. It's a single piece aluminum drive shaft instead of the normal two piece. So with the two piece, since it has a like a bearing in the middle pretty much. Yeah. As soon as you give it gas, you lose a little bit of a, what would you call it? You lose power, Martin. What's up guys? Danny here, didn't really make an introduction. But what Martin's trying to say is that his drive shaft is a lot heavier. Within the two pieces with the center support bearing, you do lose some power. So overall, the engine and transmission is trying to transfer the power to the rear wheels. And with that drive shaft, it takes a lot of power to rotate that heavy ass piece. So with this one, it shouldn't be too bad. And we should see some power gains. Since we're pretty much maxed out on power NA, unless we go cams, but that would obviously be building the head. We're trying to see how we can be faster and how we can have more response have more torque and Now it's literally just making the car as light as possible and making all the rotating parts lighter or upgrading them So the next piece to the puzzle would be a lightweight drive shaft and I actually gave him the idea to get it Because it's something that I feel like not a lot of people talk about We did end up getting it from Z1 Motorsports for about like $500 which isn't expensive at all because the only M ones having a balance and everything is a lot of money regardless they do come balanced though so that's good it's already said G's and Z's are different pricing because they're different sizes they're different lengths from the automatics Z's are carbon fiber so this one is $4.99 on Z1 other places are going to be a little different price for the automatic one on Z1 they're $6.79 so close to 700 this is not Z1's brand no it's not it's so that, don't actual, confuse that drive drive shaft the drive shaft shop, shop. Okay, so they do have their own site. You could buy it there. It is a little more expensive though because I was looking on their shop I don't understand why it's more expensive. I don't know, maybe because since obviously Z1 is able to buy at a cheaper price They probably just market it cheaper We are going to be deleting a couple of stuff on the way down there because obviously it's gonna be a one-piece conversion Ooh, Sick ass oil cooler Lowered car starter pack. So you need to keep besides weird ass wrap in your trunk You like that green? <laughs> is that a hint? <laughs> no, it's definitely not a hit. No, that's nobody's car. <laughs> hey, don't get scared, dog. Don't get scared. It's so hard. I know it is, but you're fine. Stage Wait. 3 Clutch from Action Clutch. Hit them up. Our sponsors. <laughs> Why are you so nervous? <laughs> Dude, all you have to do is roll back, because if you go right now, it's just going to skid. It's too hard. I'm taking one to stop. You're cherry, bro. See, I told you not that bad. <laughs> Marin has been rocking this OEM style grill that's been plastic dip since he's owned it. And I kept telling him to get the emblemless one because it looks so clean. I hate the mesh. I don't like it at all on this car. The issue was that they're sold out everywhere, but I got lucky, I went to eBay. And you found that brand. I found it. This one is fiberglass. And all of, all of these styles are, this is what happens when you drive low. You have a single bolt holding the whole grill into place. You don't even have the top pieces right here. What's up, Stephanie? Why do you have that spray can for? Why? Yeah. Why do you have those keys? Why do you have those keys? What keys? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, now close the hood. Let's see how it looks now. There's a little bit of a gap on this side, but it's probably just from the... The race bumper. car, bro. But this thing looks so much better like that, though. I respect it. The person that's been really sketched out about these locks has been chatting the whole time. He's so scared. Trust it, bro. Why? Look, cause look how crooked it is. Where's the crooked fool? It's look. Crooked it it's straight. We're good. Oh, hey, fool, see? You're crooked yourself. You're gonna feel so much nicer. I haven't this lift yet. <laughs> look at this. You can actually go sideways before. You don't have to be like this. You couldn't even, yeah, you couldn't even lay to your side. Now I feel like I need something more. It's a little warm, but we're good. I need something taller now. We need a real lift. We're only going to be removing the exhaust from the center. So all the way up to the test pipes to right here, because if we remove this excess piece, it's going to be pointless because you'd have to remove the sway bar. And that's not where the drive shaft is. The drive shaft right here connects to the trans transmission. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm going to head out. I'm done. Differential. My bad, guys. I don't know. 
know. Like it literally left a puddle. <gasps> Oh, yeah, just go. This is Martin's exhaust setup for anyone wondering. It goes from dual, single to dual. There are two 17s on each side connecting the diff to the drive shaft. And you want to make sure it's in gear just so it can hold it and make sure the e-brakes up as well. And you should be able to break it off. Now Chacha -cha is just removing the center support bearing, the whole piece as a unit, just so we could drop it. Anyone who watches our channel right now is, is gonna remember us when we had hair. I mean, that's fucking crazy, huh? Whoa, 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 fuck. whoa. That jump was foul. I should have recorded that. <laughs> it should slip out, but it, it might have fluid in there, so be careful not to drop it. Okay. So that's it right there. Hold on. The weight difference, do I notice it yet? <laughs> I'm trying to hold it. <laughs> so good thing. And even this, touch and notice, yeah, it does like, move really smooth. This one is. Uh, oh, fuck. I would say probably like a 60 pounds. Maybe. 70. <laughs> Try to do oh it. shit, dude. Whoa. It has to that's be just, half. There's just no heavy. way it's not. What do you think? It's probably like half the weight. You think so? Yeah. I feel like it's a big difference, dude. Yeah. It's like we need a scale so we can measure yes. the shit. Kind of like the pulleys. We could have easily measured, measured them. On Z1, it does say it is about half the weight about whatever the weight is. So all the mods that reduce weight for the transfer of the power are gonna be the pulleys, the lightweight flywheel, and then the drive shaft. The drive shaft and the flywheel are gonna make the biggest difference. And now, honestly, it's just lighter wheels and lighter bodies. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you guys is that I've been telling Martin to get rid of those fucking heavy ass doors. Are right, you gonna wanna line up the teeth inside the drive shaft with the transmission? There you go. Yeah, now should just good. go in. So now you might have to move it out. Yeah, like that. Oh, hold up, hold up. Pretty much we'll, all we're gonna have to do now, since it is a new drive shaft, we're gonna have to mark it. So if we ever take it off, we can put it exactly in the same spot. The so okay, it stays balanced. Right hold on, I can't get the bolt. <laughs> That's so light, dude. You're chilling, huh? Look. If we, oh, fuck. <laughs> Chill. So we finally got everything back on. Chacha and Danny took off and left me alone. Oh, look at that drive shaft. All right, I'm back guys. I actually went to go put gas and go eat and do a bunch of stuff. Wow, Martin was putting his car back together because me and Chachan -Cha did all the work. You stop. The last You're video. so mad. <laughs> While Martin and Chacha -Cha are going for a test drive, let me show you guys the new toolbox I bought for the garage. It is a Husky box. I was contemplating going with a Snap-on or a Macro one just because I do get a discount on those. The ones that were going even with my discount for this type of setup were around like $3,000 and I was able to get this for $900 and it looks really nice. The top is stainless steel, which is what I wanted. But as you can see, it's really big. The first drawer is huge and I'm still setting up so there's not a lot of stuff in there. But it's almost there. You guys seen my builds. You guys already know my type of taste. So of course I love black. So that's why I got a black toolbox with a sick stainless steel top. So yeah, once I'm done actually putting all the tools in there and organizing everything, I'll give you guys another quick look at it. But it looks pretty sick. And when we get our own shop, we can move it in there. All right, my turn. It's mostly at lower gears, lower RPMs. You can hear it rattling, you hear it? Oh, that? That's fine. The torque is a little torque here. Ready? so much better. I did miss third gear. Oh, it feels like it's floating, bro. <laughs> Fuck. I can definitely tell the difference. Like I was telling him, I don't know if we caught it on camera, but earlier when I was driving up and down the, yeah. the closed course with Cha-Cha, the tires weren't warmed up yet. Now that they're finally warmed up. You can hear it like it hits. It's like, grabbing a lot harder now, so scary. Like I said, it's like a floating effect. I could say that it made a huge difference. First to second, and then second to third, the whole car, it's kind of like if the wheels bounce, like it is such a fucking hard hit with the clutch, and it just, I don't know. It makes a difference, and is it worth it to some people? Some people are gonna say no, because there is, they don't like the noise. There's like a half inch difference in height, so 
it moves a little forward and backwards. Hence, I guess, the noise. To me, Thing like is, I said, I do a lot of dumb stuff. This upgrade was worth it. We're gonna read Dino it locally because there is a Dino that's more accurate than the one that we went to. Because they were heavy. It was yeah, rollers on the floor. Those rollers that were out there, they were a lot heavier. And a lot of people were like, you know, what the hell? I Dino would higher other places, you know, when they had a different tune. So. Hopefully we reach that 280 mark. So those guys are saying, oh, I reached 280 and I'm not even tuned. Bullshit. Next thing I feel like on that car is probably going to be either carbon doors or lighter wheels. The wheels obviously are brand new. So if you guys are looking to buy some wheels, get them off Martin for the quick. Hooking so he up. can, yeah, so he can um, pick up some other wheels, some very light wheels. Cause that car is definitely getting somewhere it's so much faster than how it was before. And like we said before, making it lighter and making it lighter when it comes to rotating mass, you're just gonna fucking free up so much power. And that thing hooks. So this is where we're gonna be leaving off the video. It was nice to finally have another G35 part install. But on that note, like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you guys on the next one.